Hi and welcome to WWE Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're reviewing the NXT TakeOver London 2015 and you may be wondering why Ashley's wearing that festive hat on her head. I like the word festive. Festive. Um, because um, we drew on our TLC predictions. Um, so I wore that on Raw, so check out our Raw uh, review that which would be just under this if you click on our videos. It was uploaded just before this. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember the date, that's why it's 14th. 14th of December. We don't have a title yet, so I can't no. tell you. Uh, and um, Oh, it's I'm an evil Christmas tree, don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm an evil Christmas tree, don't fuck with me. <laughs> uh, hashtag it, comment below. Uh, so, Ashley is wearing it now. And I may put it on after, because I quite enjoy it. It, it, it looks weird not being on you. I have to it suits me, it. doesn't it? Yeah, it does suit you. I am the evil Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I do your best evil Christmas tree. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm an angel Christmas tree. Oh, oh. She comes out at Christmas. Yeah. An I'm, Easter. I'm the happy one. <laughs> I'm merry, I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very merry though, was it? Oh well. <laughs> Never mind! That's spiteful, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> we then had, well, we, did, we started with. <laughs> Oscar versus Emma, and Dana Brooke was on ringside. And we figured out she's injured. Yeah, she's got yeah. injury. Which is why she hasn't wrestled in ages. Yes. Yeah. We suspected this. Mm -hmm. We figured it out. We did. I feel like Dana should go up to WWE to replace Nikki. I told you this. I know. Just because she's not there, I miss Nikki. Oh. Well, only temporarily. Oh. Right. I'll be Nikki. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Because I say it too. <laughs> <laughs> she does say it too, actually. Yeah. Um, it was quite cute seeing Asuka come out. She looked really like, um, <laughs> not starstruck, but do you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, there's these people. Yeah. Like, it was her first big, massive, like, thing. Yeah. And she opened the show as well. Was, Emma didn't phase her, I mean, she started at four. Like, yeah. Like, and stuff, so. Yeah. But it was quite sweet, like, Asuka's little face. <laughs> Unfortunately, they spent most of the time lying around the floor. Yeah. Um, I, I was a little disappointed. It was still a decent match. Yeah, it was a decent match. But I did watch half and half, so I watched one half, paused it, went to work, came back and watched the next half. It was still just a lot of lying around though. Yeah. And arm bars. That was that was mainly it. They're both arm worth bars. a lot more than that. Yeah. So I was, I was a bit disappointed, but it was still a decent match and probably still one of the better ones of the night. Yeah. NXT London was a bit of a letdown. It wasn't too bad. Considering what we've got before, though. Yeah, the crowd were good. Mm. The crowd, crowd were really were very good. good. The crowd were really good. Um, and while I was singing, Hey, hey, baby, ooh, ah, I wanna know if you'll be my girl. <laughs> they sang another one for Enzyme Cass as well, didn't they? Yeah, I thought they sang that. It was, like, was it like a killer song or a Kings of Neon song? It was something. I can't remember. But they got really excited when they were like, if I had a pound, oh, woo, it's, he's got a pound. <laughs> Fuck me, he knows what a pound. Of course, he knows what a pound is. He's just spent a couple of days in England. <laughs> if I had a pound for every time we've been beaten, I'd have no pound. <laughs> <sighs> okay, mate, calm down. Um, we'll get to that anyway. Yeah. But um, it was the good thing about this match though was the referee getting knocked out. <laughs> we haven't seen that in ages. Yeah, true. That was quite cool. Um, I've got Triple H did a speech before this all happened. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Injured my arm. Yeah, bastard. Injured my arm. <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> bad. <laughs> dear, oh dear. So do they do they think that NXT and WWE do not? Nick. Come inside. No, I don't they do. I mean, the pay per view was only shown on the WWE Network for nine ninety nine, yeah. and NXT is only shown on the WWE Network for nine ninety nine. Go check it out, bitch. Um, yeah, Dana Brooke gets tossed backstage by the ref. He's like, "Fuck off, mate!" Because she off, keeps bitch. jumping off on the apron. And then Emma tries to attack Asuka from behind, but Asuka kicks her in the face, and she wins. I didn't really mind who won though, to be fair. No, I didn't mind either. No. I didn't mind. But Diva's division is running this thing. Yeah. They are. We had a tag match. It was, oh god. Enzo and Cass versus Dash Dawson. Dash Dawson. If I had a pair. Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. Scott Dawson? I don't know what his name is. Yeah. Well, Dash and Wilder, the tag team champions. <laughs> Enzo, if, if they're gonna give 
The tag team champions to Enzo and Cass or Dash and Dawson, it should be Enzo and Cass. Yeah, everyone as they are, they get such a good reaction from the crowd. Yeah. Oh my god, the one they yeah. got. If oh. I had a pair! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, I have a dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, I have a pair! You have a power coin up in the air, and it was, yeah, they were speaking about, like, obviously Dash and Dawson. Dash and Dawson? Yeah, no. Dash. <laughs> Dash and what? What are their names? <laughs> Wilder and da- Dash and Dawson? Dash and Dawson, that's the name, isn't it? Yeah. I, I literally can't remember who they are. We've <laughs> <laughs> only been there since we started watching and we still can't get They're tag team champions. I'm trying to figure out who Enzo and Cass is and I thought I figured it out. No, you're wrong. But <laughs> I was the wrong way round. I was like, I texted Ashley, I was like, I figured it out. Cass is the one with the funny hair. No, Coral. <laughs> Enzo is the one with the funny hair. <laughs> you tried. I tried. <laughs> That's a little bit counts. <laughs> I remember who they are now. Yeah, exactly. So that was good. Um, yeah, Dash and Dawson come out, and there was Who Are You? Chance. Who are you? Who are you? It's true. It is, though. Who the fuck are you? No one knows who you are. You don't remember me. You look like a standard, bog standard man. <laughs> yeah, and there, was, there was a bit where, is this Dawson? Is it Dash? Because no one knew who they were. And it's like, oh, I was cracking up. So I was like, you can't tell. Because even me and you have gone, yeah. who's which? You just don't know. You don't know. I mean, I struggle with Enzyme Cass. I think your life would be Dash and Dawson. <laughs> Struggles real high, Coral. It is. <laughs> That's not <what> problems. <laughs> to be fair, the match was actually pretty good. I was quite surprised at how good the match it was. was. One of the, it was one of the better matches of the yeah. night. It kept it going. Definitely. I think it trailed off at the end a little bit. It did a little bit, but they did a really good finisher. Yeah. Enzo should be solo. Do you think? I think so. Enzo did most that match. He does do a lot, but I think Cass is still a bit injured. Mm-hmm. Me? Uh. I don't really think Enzo would be better and I think he'd be a good... I, th- I don't think he could ever, on his own especially, I don't think he could ever be main event in, but pre-show player in, mid-card in. I definitely think he could. I don't think he's... He's got the charisma for it. Yeah. Cass struggles a little bit. Cass yeah. struggles a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I think Enzo should go to I want to see what happens. Maybe not permanently, but I want to see what happens. Um, I thought that Enzo and Cass were separate before and then they brought them together because they were both failing. Probably. That was the the story behind them, but I don't know if that's true. Um, Dash and Dawson win. They did their finish off the top top rope. It's kind of like a um, 3D, but the Dudley boys were a bit different. Uh, That was actually really good how they did that. Yeah. That was good, because I remember it. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And they won, which is annoying. Mm. But no one knows who they are. No. I think they're going to cash the winner. Everyone thinks the uh, tag team titles are just... No one at the moment. Yeah. It's just hanging there, waiting for someone to grab it. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, then had Polo Cruz versus Baron Corbin. Oh my god, this match was awful. It was, wasn't it? It was so bad. It was. Do you know what? I, I've, ever since I watched that a bit of Breaking Ground where uh, Baron Corbin's like, oh yeah, they, they show me how they keep telling me, obviously, I'm not doing my character enough in the ring, but I'm doing it on the outside. I can see it. Yeah. Now that they've said it, I can see it, and I'm just watching it like. It's like even though like, it was turned. He was telling to. Um, Apollo Crews, go back to your where you come from and all this and it was just so awkward. He shouldn't yeah. be talking in the match. He used no. to portray it through his act like body language, not from yeah. talking at him. Like it was just so awkward and wasn't good. It no. wasn't good. There was a chant going as well, I think Corbin shit or oh, something really? like that or you know it was something like that. It was I quite feel like we need, we're getting so much new meat with the girls. We need new meat with the men. We do. They're a bit like Baron Corbin, I, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, he should just be, be dropped. I don't know why they're pushing mm. him. I've not. I I've tried. I've really tried to yeah. like Baron Corbin, but there's some can't. I can't. I just literally can't like him. Yeah. I can't even hate him. Like that's how much I don't care. Yeah, he's just very. <laughs> I just don't care. And he's very. He's balding. And Apollo, he's balding. He's Apo- Apollo Cruz. I don't know what it was about his match, but he really held himself back. I don't know mm. if you felt that. Yeah, he didn't shine. No, he didn't. And I feel like he's a bit conflicting with himself at the moment, whether he's face or heel. Because not, not so much like he knows his face. But when how he's, do we act, how does he act? Like? Yeah, when he's bringing out his sentences, they're very heel. Yeah. The, the tone that he's bringing it out in, I feel like he'd be a better heel. But then his it. facial expressions don't match. That's yeah. the problem. He's too smiling. Mm. And even when he's resting, he's like... Yeah. And it's just like, when he's resting, he's blatantly face. But I feel like when he says things, he's hate to... But he needs to, he knows he's got to be aggressive, but he's, he's too, like, oh, His facial expressions don't match what he's trying to mm. do. They both need work. They mm. both definitely need to work. Um, Baron Corbin won. 
I was like, I just don't care. I, I lost in, this match went good at all. I lost yeah. interest. I generally think we've got quite a small roster for the minute at the moment. Yeah. I do. We then had a Nia Jax vs Bailey. I'm not, I'm not. Hmm. Um, I'm really on the fence about this match. <sighs> like, I liked it, but I didn't like it. And then I got bored of it, and then I liked it again, and I, I couldn't. I was just. It was a bit all over. It wasn't a bad match. It was just. I just felt like it didn't. The ending kind of didn't feel like the end. Like all of yeah. a sudden, it was a headlock for ages, and then uh, Nia Jax tapped out. But I think they didn't want to give Nia Jax a championship. And it makes sense because she's so big that Bailey. It was like her. Bailey was running into a wall yeah. every time. Nia Jax could not sell that. No. That yeah. was that was the one bad thing about that match. Every time Bailey went like that to get on her. Like, and ran into a Nia Jax go because I don't think Nia Jax even feels the impact. She's such like yeah, she's she's built like a brick wall basically. <laughs> and it was essentially Bailey was just running into it. The only way Bailey could win would have been submission. Yeah, if she, she if she beat her by that pinfall, pinfall. Have no, the only way I think anyone can pinfall is if they knock her out of an object. The thing is though, I think it could have been a better submission hold rather than yeah. a headlock. It was just so yeah, awesome. I think. I think instead of passing out, she could uh, tapping out. She should have passed yeah, out. Yeah, I thought that's what the direction they were going to go. Yeah, in, but they yeah, um, it wasn't terrible. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to carry it on because obviously before the match, Asuka was smiling yeah. and like Jax, which I think that might be quite good. I reckon. Mm. I reckon Asuka's done a lot more matches like that. Yeah, with people like Nia yeah. Jax. Yeah, I think. The only problem for me is I'd hate people just lying around for the whole match. That's basically what Bailey did until the yeah, end. Like, I just hate that in general. Just about. Yeah, but it can't be helped, I suppose, because of the dynamic. Yeah. But I would have liked a bit more. I don't know. So the thing is, I think if Bailey was a bit faster, I think if you put Becky Lynch with or Sasha Banks with Nia mm. Jax because they're quite speedy yeah. and fast. Or even Naomi, maybe. Like, it's so fast. I feel like if they dance circles around her, it would work a bit better. Yeah. But Bailey is quite like average pace isn't yeah because it is like the kevin owens effect you put kevin owens against like dub sigler mm. it is essentially like running up against the brick wall yeah so it can be done it's just, just got the great way to do it yeah um so yeah bailey won um then it had the nft championship match it's finn balor versus mojo oh my god finn balor's entrance was awesome he was oh, the the, yeah that was that good, was good. I like that because they were doing the Jack the Ripper like promos, weren't they? Yeah. Like, the whole thing that yeah. it was like it made sense. So I like the fact that that yeah. happened. That was really good. That was clever. So I didn't see that coming. No. Um, that was awesome. The match itself, though, I'm I'm on the fence. Finn Balor's gearing up. He's gearing up, but I don't know if that's because he's stuck with Samoa Joe. Well, I know he had. Well, I think Finn Balor got concussion in this match. Oh, did he? Because do you know see at the end where the trainers were talking to him and stuff? Oh yeah, and he yeah. was kind of yeah. Because there was one point where. I think it was my Joe kicked him like in the face and his turnbuckle the turnbuckle was there. Mm. And he just pelted him right like you know when they um put their foot like across the face. Yeah, yeah. And he just like proper whacked him right in the face. Yeah. And Finn's eyes just went glassy straight away. I yeah. couldn't tell if he was that he's good at selling or he literally was concussed, but yeah. I think the ref even spoke to him then that you were right. Yeah. So I think he might have got in, a bit injured in the I match. Like the thing they do after really big falls, they, the ref goes over and they go you not notice that? No. Yeah, if they're lying on the floor like that, the ref will come up and their hands there and the ref will put their finger there and they'll go like that. Oh, to let them know they're alright? Mm -hmm. We never noticed that. No. They only do it on a really big match. They do it a couple of times to the Undertaker in the Brock Lesnar match. Do they? Never noticed that before. Yeah, they just go. Like, you usually can't see it, but you usually just see them do that. Like, something like really just like on the oh, side. Like, but it's just a bit of a tap and stuff like that. Just, just to make just sure you're still responding. Yeah, yeah. Didn't notice that. I'm going to look out for that now. <laughs> They must have liked Finn Balor because yeah. he looked he looked absolutely like he'd been hit by a train. Yeah, it's only match. really on like major big matches yeah. or big falls and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they kind of did a bit. I don't think you saw it, but I think the ref was checking like after that big ladder thing. Like. Yeah. Because I think because Finn really sold that passing out. Who on, on the ladder? Was it, was it Kalisto? Oh, no, yeah. He yeah. really sold. It. He was like. <laughs> he really sold that. I was like, shit, has he actually passed out? No, he's not. No, he's, not. he's fine. He's fine. He got up quite quickly after that. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, uh, Yeah, so Finn Balor was not in shape for this match. He. There's something not quite, it wasn't something quite right of him. Um, I'm starting to think he got promised a, um, a push. A push to WWE and it got taken away. Yeah, because there's something not quite right. 
you know, he's um, even given up, and I don't think he's the kind of guy to give up. No. So I don't know. Or I reckon he's been told when Sami Zayn comes back. Sami Zayn? Sami Zayn. He's getting a bit pushed down. I don't know, there's just something. Something's, yeah. Something's up. And I don't know whether he's bored of Samoa Joe. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> Samoa well, Joe bored me in this. He um, went, he went terrible, but he weren't. He was, they both went at each other quite viciously in this match. Yeah. So there were some bits where I was like, oh, I can't watch that. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh. So you wonder. can't say Samoa Joe's a bad wrestler, and he's not a bad talker. I'm just not. It's like that, I was like, it's Samoa. I don't want Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> conversation before. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's about them, I'm just like, oh. Yeah. You know. So you're like, a bit, essentially Ryback, you know what I mean? You don't really like him. He, he can kind of talk. <laughs> he can wrestle. I just don't care for him. Yeah. He's yeah. just there. That's how I feel about Samoa Joe. He's Mark Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like with Samoa Joe, he injures everyone. <laughs> So I can't like watch yeah. him wrestle because I feel like you can. Ryback injured. injures everyone. Oh, no, he does. <laughs> the Ryback does injure everyone. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Um, Finn Balor won. He did the coup de grace off the top rope and he completely like almost missed. Mm. He like kicked him in the face because he had a busted lip. Mm. So my Joe and I think he had a concussion because that's why he couldn't get the landing right. Mm. So I literally think. Finn Balor probably can't remember half that match. He was probably locked the fuck out. He was like, I don't know what's happening. Um, we'll see what happens at NXT. He probably won't be there. No. He misses them now a few yeah. times. I, I think, think he's doing house shows, isn't he? I think he's got an injury. Do you think? Uh, yeah, I think he's got something wrong with him. Because mm. maybe that explains why he's a bit like, oh, I can't bother because he yeah. can't do certain things. Maybe. But the match is alright. Um, it, 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 it weren't as good as I thought it was going to be. It weren't main event enough. But I feel like the whole... But bringing it over to London and having this major, major atmosphere, I feel like they didn't play on it. No, I but I thought it was it, it was good. It was, it better, was, it was yeah. better than a normal NXT. I feel like, yeah. Uh, I found myself sitting there actually watching it. I wasn't like looking at my phone. So I was looking at oh, my phone. Oh, so I wasn't. I mean... Did you watch it late at night, though? Watch half it late at night, the other half let's get ready in the morning. Oh, see, so I watched it like in one go, it's maybe yeah. that's a difference. Yeah, it might be. But I don't know, I just. It wasn't as good as, as other ones. Mm. Yeah, Brooklyn was good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Brooklyn was good. And. I, don't, I just felt like there was a little something missing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't mean, it couldn't quite get yeah. what it was, but it was a bit something. Yeah. What's your rated, Coral? Mm. I was going to go for a four. Oh, I think I don't we're back. Back in the middle. Yeah, yeah. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, retweet, retumble, follow us, sub us, comment, comment below. below. <laughs> like yeah, us. Goodbye. enjoy.